Hey guys, before you get too invested into the video, go ahead, hit that subscribe button for us. We appreciate all the support that you guys give us. So go ahead, please, 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 please like, share, and subscribe our content. So that way you won't miss another episode of Unfiltered Arguments and your friends won't miss another episode. Thank you and y'all be blessed. Peace. Welcome back to another episode of Unfiltered Arguments. Here you got your boy Joe. <laughs> there you got your boy Forbes. Hi guys. <laughs> Hi my boy Derek. Here. How y'all boys feeling tonight? <sighs> feeling highly blessed, black, Ooh. and favorite. Ooh. Shout highly out to Black and flavored. Highly blessed, black. black and oh, I thought you said flavored. I was like, oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> got a little case of twang. Oh, I am. <laughs> Shut the hell up. <laughs> <laughs> flavored. Feeling flavored. That's, That's some freak shit. <laughs> oh, don't just talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> just start talking about that. That's some freak shit. All right. Ask y'all boys a question. Y'all want y'all want me to fuck up y'all lives, or do you want me to just lie? Like, you mean fuck up on life and look enough already? Need. When have I ever did that? You always gotta risk on somebody. Either it's a mother or it's somebody that you with. Last one. Last one was like a really good topic. One time, Joseph. One time. <laughs> one time. <laughs> Damn. That was one time. Damn, he discredited everything you did. <laughs> That nigga said one time. That was like the twenty. I just play. Episode. I just play. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that was the episodes. And now this nigga say I was twenty some episodes. That one. One was time. Good. Damn, that was a good one though. That's probably the best one though. Hey, look, I look. I ain't never gonna be able to top that one. I don't know either. I don't. Yeah. yeah I ain't gonna be. I ain't gonna be. That was a great conversation. That's that 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 warrants another episode. Like I might have to do a part two off that joint one day. That's Not fact. Day. Cause you know what I was about to go in. You cut me off and shit. You go in. You do, nah. You do a part two. <laughs> you be feeling that strong? Nah. Uh, oh fuck, man. I'm, I'm slacking. I'm I already got it started. Oh, see. Shit, boy. You know. You know. I'm on it. Yeah, I was like, ah, yeah. I about Who wanted? I used to start when the argument started. Cause I don't never want to cut y'all short. Cause of this. I know this argument, but did y'all see the verses? <laughs> Bone Bro, thugs and three six miles. What happened with that? <laughs> that shit was crazy. That was one of the best ones, though. It was good, but not the really energy good. came after the fight. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what's up with that? Yeah, that shit. I but knew. I talking, knew niggas gonna start though. But they was they was talking shit beforehand. beforehand like, they was, busy they Bone was on. Friend, they was, yeah. yeah busy he already had that energy yeah, beforehand. Like, yeah, he gonna slap somebody. Yeah. You know, them, them, they old school too. They don't give a fuck about Facts. that. They they fight. They don't go fuck. Yeah, but nah, they brung out the goat, man. I was like, yeah. yeah. Wheezy L. You know, I baby. They brought Wayne out, so I knew Derek was going to sit there and jump up. You know, Derek. I was on it. Yeah, I saw your tweet too, nigga. I was like, I said, yeah. Right now, <laughs> all in the comments. Look, I was using the podcast page. <laughs> I was all in it. All plugging in. I, look, <laughs> I was like, make sure y'all follow. I was all in the Jones. Hey, but niggas was, niggas was adding me. I was playing some dumb shit in that motherfucker. Wi-Fi messing up. I said niggas using niggas hotspots in that bitch. I was just saying some crazy shit, but I was all under the comments, bro. Nah, Shout out to our filter brothers. Oh, so you <laughs> on social media page. Damn right. All right, Weezy L, baby. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, so y'all ain't never telling me I'm gonna fuck y'all minds. You gonna fuck your lives? Pause, nigga. No homo. Um, <laughs> no homo. What's the difference? No homo. Oh. No, nigga. Oh, oh. Man, you talk about me? <laughs> <laughs> That's the question, bro. Well, okay, so mess up your... our mind or mess up our lives. All right, so like the religion question was more of like a mental fuck. Mm -hmm. But like me asking you, would you sacrifice your mom on the save the world? That's kind of like a lie, but like because that's all really from fucked up. Is, all right, I about all this. You want me up. fuck you, fuck you, or you want me fuck you? Pause, man. No homo, bro. All homo. What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want to answer this question. All right, all right, all right. I go with the latter. Do you mess <laughs> with you? In what way? A lot. <laughs> see, see, pause. No, see, it's you, Joe. Oh, 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 Joe doing this shit on purpose, man. Uh, you know, I'm going to hit y'all boys. You using do rest of children. Oh, he's wild. <laughs> Nah, no, that nigga don't. I was thinking, I was thinking, of, oh, no, no, I was thinking of, that trash one, bro. Is wild. Where's that, tra where that trash one? I don't know. Lifestyle. Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. Y'all niggas stupid. Oh, that, all right, bet. Trojan lifestyle. 
Which one y'all want? We're not about to have a debate. No, it's not a debate. It's <laughs> oh. Just, I'm about to say, how do we have, have a fucking debate on condoms, nigga? <laughs> First of all, I go on. Hey, I look. Can't. Trojan is the safer choice. Trojan. Or lifestyle is the risky choice. Trojan. So you want the safe choice? Who what? It's a condom. You're supposed to pick the safe choice. I'm talking about in terms of the question I'm going to ask. Uh, y'all want Trojans? Y'all want lifestyle? He's a fucked up individual regardless, so. Trojans, it's going to protect you, but you ain't getting no feeling to it. It's going to be safe. Viewer friendly people can make the kids watch it. Oh no, nah, fuck them kids. The lifestyles that would be my rip on you. Fuck them kids. <laughs> you YouTube always it. asks when I upload a video, is this for, <laughs> is this for kids? No. no. <laughs> what if I want to go raw? Oh, you want to? <laughs> that is dangerous. Hey, nigga. I got that nigga one. Dangerous. Nigga. I got one. Man, fuck it, man. We sushi and shit. Man. Yeah, we, we sushi. We, yeah, sushi we, and we, shit, we raw dogging right now. We sushi I'm and sure shit. About this. Yeah. Only your spouse though. <laughs> we ain't just sushi and shit. Yeah, only yeah. your spouse. Yeah, yeah. Right. I ain't just handing it out there. But we, ain't, we not we not buffeting it. Yeah. Alright. So I don't, even, really want, nah, I don't even like sushi. Like yeah, this this is pick up the order. This <laughs> <laughs> is for us. You know what the funny part is? You wielded all the sidebar. I don't even know what the fuck it's topic. <laughs> Yo, Ford is uh, crazy. Boy, oh, oh yeah. I think when he wake up. <laughs> they ain't gonna let baby let their kids watch this episode. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Viewers I'm discretion at back. You gotta put you gotta put that at the beginning of it. Fuck, y'all really made me lose my question. Oh, oh alright, I got it. So you got I might I'm gonna set the scenario for you too. Got a murder and a child molester on trial. Mm-hmm. One has to die in order for the other one to live. However, if the child molester lives, he has the possibility of curing every disease known to the man. If the murderer, if the murderer lives, you won't really get that much of a benefit. But he murdered in the name to protect his family. Like it wasn't like he was a serial killer and like that. Like he murdered in self defense. So he's like, so really he's an innocent man. Right. Oh, I don't want to do that one either because that's like more of a like would you sacrifice thing, and I don't like that. So I don't like those questions. <laughs> he said sushi, man. Yeah, that one sushi. I, I, that was Trojan. No, I, that was Durax. I mean, yeah, but the sushi <laughs> question is, like, <laughs> it's really, really bad. Like, I mean, it's it's a conversation that like if I start. We gonna start it. We gonna lose some f- friends. I don't know about losing friends, but man, fuck them kids, man. Come on, All right, <laughs> sure. man. Come on, man. All right, we here now. I'm kind of scared, but go ahead. Yeah, I'm a little scared. Say, my mom be watching these shows, like, bro. We here now. All right, you said what? So, we can talk about talk about like um world tragedy and stuff like that like, oh, shit. About, like famine you talk about disease talk about all that shit do y'all believe it's another it's another religion question for oh, us shit. i actually y'all want this raw let's get it yeah raw but pull out <laughs> <laughs> do y'all believe i really don't want to do this one either because i don't want to do two religion ones back to back yeah fuck it but do you believe that do you guys really believe if you believe in God mm-hmm. and you believe that everything that God orchestrates is under his command, like everything is in his plan, do you think that the individuals that struggling that was given an unfair hand was really in his plan? And the reason I ask that because if you don't believe that it's in his plan, then you don't believe in God. Because God controls all. Like not controls all, but you know, he knew all this was gonna happen. So if 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 God is real and God exists why is he not benefiting the ones that are are born innocent but are given like that bad hand of life? Well, I think when you said bad hand of life, are we like starting from the beginning or like are they the, just like the kids that been living starving? <clears throat> so, do you think that God intended think, for those kids to starve? And if he did, what was the purpose of them starving? I'm not sure. I, can, I don't know if I can answer that. I but I was not. But I don't about. know if I can answer that. But I think there's a origin to everything. 
That was beginning to everything. And if you believe in God, you have to believe in the devil too. So the devil may have, you know, his hands and in, in, in a lot of shit that goes so, on. You want to know the part two of this question? What's up? Do y'all really think Satan is as bad as he is? If Satan's job is to, all right, let's, let's I, take I the believe, I believe so. Let's when, take when the Armageddon see, out of it. All right, let's take the whole good and evil thing out of it. Right. Let's use, let's think about gods as, as one rules the heavens, one rules hell. Like Zeus and Hades. Right, you know, and other um and other entities and other religions and stuff like that. When you talk about gods, y'all want it raw, so here it is. Oh. When you talk about God, one it's always a good God, and it's always like a God that ruled the underworld. Right, if Satan keeps every all the like, if he torments the bad, if he bans like everybody from going to heaven, is he really the bad guy? Or is he? Just Why the wouldn't one he be? The, he's, is he just the one making the necessary sacrifice? Is God the bad guy because he lets all the people suffer? See, I don't want to say. I think see religion. That's why I don't. No, nah, y'all want to. That's why I, no, I'm no. I'm, <laughs> answer, I'm answering the question, but that's why I don't consider myself religion or anything like that. But it's like God is a ruler of everything. Mm-hmm. But I do believe the devil got some a lot of say and shit. Mm-hmm. Like some shit the devil just do is like. When you when you talk like the last episode when you talk about will, you know willpower, mm-hmm. are you gonna allow God to take control of you, or are you gonna allow the devil to take control of you? You wanna know? I have to censor that question a little bit. You really wanna know my a little part of that question was, if God told you right now, would y'all be able to sacrifice like Abraham sacrificed? What did he sacrifice? Did he Edu- sacrifice his educate child? me, child. Would you, would you well, what, what, is, what is he sacrificed for? I, I, can't, I don't remember the whole study. story. But I know he, he was ready to sacrifice his You know son. how long it's been since I've been to a Bible study? Uh, <laughs> how long <laughs> a church what, been? If, what, if, like, what if God talks to you, divine intervention, and is like, I want you to sacrifice everything you love for me. And then Satan comes behind you and is like, I'll give you everything you want. Damn. That's tough. No, everything I see you want. Everything you desire. Not just humanly, like everything. everything. But it, then, then, then that's, All you gotta that, do is just give me your soul in the end. But that's the thing when you when you talk about the double is always that that small fine print that motherfuckers don't oh, read. Yeah. It's, it's that it's that three sixty. It's, mean, the, it's the music. It's the music industry. It's that it's that shit that has the bottom of that contract uh, that you don't read. Okay. You know what I'm saying? They they said they're gonna give you this and that, but they don't they ain't gonna, they don't tell you that you are gonna fucking okay. go. You ain't gonna get no money. You gonna go broke, even though you are gonna get the fame. Mm-hmm. That's 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 all you gonna get. But you gonna fucking suffer. That whole fucking journey, I like this you know what I'm saying? Feel you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but then that's like, you know, how sometimes you may have to sacrifice for shit. Some people, some people, uh, you sacrifice like uh, I say, I'll, I'll get to that. I'll get to that. If you think about it, he did. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Sacrifice his only son. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean. He won't be asked you to do something that something he won't do. They, 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 what that's he the, has already that, done for you. That's the example. So I mean, ah. all he asking for is payment in return. Do you think? I always wonder about this, right? Because you know the Old Testament guy that, hey, uh, what's his name? Galar, Solomon Galar. Hey. Then they turn to salt. Hey, old Old Testament guy was a different guy, bro. I've heard. I, like, I don't. I ain't gonna say I know, but I've heard. Well, I, I don't know, but the way it's written, yeah, like flood. That's the Old Testament is where where Jesus was flipping tables in it, or is yeah, that the New Testament? I don't know. Was, yeah. what that was the Old Testament or New Testament? New Testament starts from when Jesus is, is born. Yeah, and, Jesus was born. Oh, gotcha. Old yeah. Testament is when God was oh, just, yeah. was wrecking, yeah. and he was like, no. and he was giving them periods. Cause Whew. Eve messed up mm-hmm. in the garden. Yeah. So. Mm, okay. That. Yeah. <laughs> what would y'all have done if y'all was in the garden of Eden? This is gonna be a conversation now. What would y'all been doing? Would y'all fall Eve, Eve right there? Eve ate the apple. Yeah. And she would have. <laughs> <I would've, laughs> how many maneuver? You better, you better cough that shit, shit up. back up. We gonna pack the apple back together. <laughs> Damn right. You stupid. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. <laughs> it ain't nothing, Jesus. It ain't nothing. No, she ain't do it, Jesus. She ain't do it. She ain't do it. She ain't do it, God. It, it fell off the tree and it fell like that on the ground. She ain't it, do it, 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 God. It. Do you guys think that if God exists, if you, uh, if God exists, 
which I mean, we all believe in. Yeah. But um, do you guys think the existence of God takes away from the existence of science? No. No. God is the reason science is here. I gotta find questions going to break y'all. Cause I can, I can no, go, I can go get some um baking soda and some vinegar and make come correct action right now. So you argue that? So what's your argument? You think that God created science? Yeah. God killing me because right. I really, I really Cause, because he is the creator of all things. So what do you guys? How do you guys feel when? Have you guys ever talked to an atheist? But y'all know we not. We never really answered the original question, though. Ah, Are we ah. sacrificing oh, everything? Oh, yeah. That's, nice. a, that's the original question. I thought question. everybody said no. No, I was explaining, but then... Oh, you know, <laughs> good. Oh, and then Paul um, made that comment. But, yeah, I was saying, like... Because um, I was kind of comparing it to, like, the music industry. But some people... Uh, you know, some people turn down... A, like, some people turn down millions of dollars. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All, all, all mm-hmm. money and good money and everything like that. But when you, when you, truly, when you truly stick to your morals... And ethics and everything like that, you won't have to. You won't have to make those those tough decisions. You won't have to like turn down the opportunity to get everything that you wish for in life to get something better. You know what I'm saying? That's that that actually fits you and don't go against you know what you stand for and everything like that. So understand it like being really religious. And understanding that if I sacrifice everything I love, I know I'm gonna get something greater in return. I yes, I would do that. Doing that time and being a religious person, yes, I would. <laughs> I agree. That's tough. I mean, it's tough. tough. Especially Take when you that. package. And that's a it's a good example. Like, it's a good example. That's life. That that's like. But I, but I feel like the problem I have with the example is that you're not sacrificing. Like it's you, selfish though. But you're not sacrificing you. You're sacrificing everything you love. That's what I'm saying. People, like everything. That's what like, I'm saying. It's a selfish decision. Yeah. And that's that's the that's the that's that can be a negative part about it too. It's like you you thinking of just thinking about yourself. In the situation, and then the, the devil act. Well, you no, know. I was saying about like more like my like you guys will have to suffer. Like you know what I'm saying. Well, I mean y'all not gonna suffer. Because we gonna suffer be dead, because we gave. Like, right, I see FaceTime me. I don't know, but you better check that time. Let me it's know. good. Oh, good. Where we at sixteen. Uh you know what I said we had sixteen minutes. <laughs> that's how good. That's, that's because I've been doing this for twenty seven <laughs> episodes four, and now all the time has been bad. <laughs> see how you just get so aggressive. <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely sacrificed for. <laughs> nah, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, but no, nah, I just no, I just think about it more like I wouldn't want y'all to die for me. Like I would I would sacrifice myself, but I wouldn't want y'all to miss out on y'all life because of that yeah. That's the part I have the hard part I have about it. Yeah. Sacrificing is no problem. Like I mean if I gotta give up, I gotta give up. Um if God come down and say you gotta give up, you gotta give up. Like ain't no conversation. Like ain't no debate. Yeah, if you call your name, whether you answer hey. or not, you gone. And you know, like that's that's it. Yeah. But um, you ain't got, <laughs> you ain't got no, you ain't got no say in that shit. Lay down, sleep with Jesus. You ain't got no say in that shit. <laughs> I wanna say, um, y'all see DC young fly on Fan Feud. <laughs> Stupid, bro. <laughs> <laughs> was like, he was like, I want DC to be my um. Be my pastor, he said, lay him down. He with Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> what did he say? I can't remember it all now. I just remember it was they was hyping him up and he was a gut. But, um, I don't want to sacrifice y'all though, like because I feel like y'all are the ones that lose in the end. Like I'll still be here. I mean, I'll be sad without y'all, but that's what I'm saying. It's like both decisions We wouldn't have to deal with trouble. Even, though, it, even, no though, more. even though it's God, even though it's God, it's like it may, it may be the right decision, but it's the best decision. But it's God. It is. It may be God, but it may be the right decision because it is God. But it is the best decision. It's God, so it's got to be the best decision, right? Oh, Dad, talk about Maybe. it. I don't know. If you giving up everything, you giving up everything. Once again, that's a selfish, selfish decision to make. If you giving it, not you're not giving up yourself. You give them everything what, that you but this love. Is what God is asking for. That's what I'm saying. So how is it selfish? On your part, because 
But he's not giving you an ultimatum. He's like, I want to take everything you love. I think it's a saying that Christians say in church a lot, and they really don't take it seriously. For God, I live, and for God, I die. Yeah. So you'll be fine. You'll be fine if, uh, if let's say, God talking to you. He say you, Sean, is married at this point. You got family, and God is talking to both of y'all. And he say he tell Shonda, you know, I got plans for her. But in order to that, in order to get them, she has to sacrifice everything. You knowing that you is out of there, would you agree with her decision? Mm-hmm. That's tough. Because I, I always say this, and we have this conversation a lot. Um, not because we don't love each other, because we feel stuff way towards each other, but because I feel like these are conversations that have to be had. And I'm a sensitive ass nigga. Um, but I always ask her, well, I don't always ask her, but from time to time I'll ask her, do you want to be with me? Because feelings change. I know feelings change. I know people change. And I know that, like, it gets to a point where, um, you know, people fall out of love. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, it's a sad fact, um, but it's reality. And, you know, the reason I say that is because, but I, only, I, I say that too because my love is so strong that I always want her to be happy. And if she's happier without me, like I would never want her to sacrifice her potential because now I feel like not, for the rest of our lives, I'll, I would know that I'm the one that held her back. But what happened if like, of course you can always get better mm-hmm. in life. Well, of course you can always progress in life. But what happened if y'all reach that stage where you have pretty much everything that y'all work for and everything like that and you y'all have that 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 those feelings towards each other where it's like like you saying like i can't be with nobody else but you you like yeah. you're literally like yeah. like half of my heart like if, if you're away if if you go away then like that's that's half of me gone and i can't I live think, i can't live like that i think that at the end of the day it will ultimately have to be her decision but I, I wouldn't be able to make it because no matter what I decide, whether I decide me or her potential or whatever, it'll be a selfish decision on my part because it has to be something that she decides. Mm-hmm. Would you, I'm going to ask this, this is going to end the conversation. All right, let's say you got, everybody's married, everybody's happy, everybody's successful. And what happens is, is that, um, your wife is on her deathbed. Like you're still young, you're like forty. Mm-hmm. You can save her, but in order to save her, you have to give up the marriage. Like if you save her, like there's a way to save her, but she will not be your wife anymore. You won't. Rem- you will. You're giving up. Like you'll always remember her, but she won't remember you. She won't know you. She'll walk away from you completely. Would I make that decision? Mm-hmm. I mean, in that case, I I think I make that decision easily, you just because I, I I can't have I can't have on my conscience I can't have death on my conscience. Would you? Oh, I'm sorry for going to hear you. Yeah, I I'll, I'd rather sacrifice the marriage because, like you said, like I don't want to like for her to die and knowing there was a way for me to save her. What if it wasn't your wife, but it was your mom? Sacrifice marriage then to what save my was, mom. Yeah, what if it was your mom? I knew this shit was coming. Ah, I yeah, was. I was gonna throw it in there eventually. <laughs> Would you sacrifice? I'm talking about y'all got years in the game. Like this is like Derek said, the love of your life, the one you supposed to be with, everything. Like you know, like there's no one out here that's gonna make you happier, and then no other woman is gonna compare to her. Would you sacrifice your Marriage, so that your parent will live. I think, if we're talking about, we talking about like today's age. How how old like how how far we are in the game? How far we are in the game right now? So you about, I say mid thirties. Might sound fucked up, but. Sacrifice your mom? No, I'm not. Sacrifice your marriage? Sacrifice my marriage. Because I feel like, like at, at that point, it's like, 
I feel like she still got a lot of life left. But if it's like towards like the end, if you, if you like if we was in like our fucking fifties or sixties or something like that, then it's like I'm I'm saving you, but you only got a couple of years left. And I just gave I just gave away thirty years of fucking marriage. <laughs> then now I'm gonna live the rest of my life miserable. Trying but, to search for what you just oh yeah. So it's like, but if it was in like the early, like early stages, nah, yeah, I'm saving my mom. Mm. That's me. Forward. Forward. <laughs> you don't have your time, nigga. You don't have your yeah. time, nigga. Come on, man, I got one easy on y'all. Next, next this was question. like it was like it was yeah. Like, next time it's gonna be real fucked. I got a real <laughs> philosophical question. I just didn't throw it out there because. I haven't figured out how I wanted to word it yet. <sighs> it was really going to touch out morality. I can't wait for that one. Uh. Yeah, it's more of a philosophical question, but it's going to really, really how y'all thinking. But I need, I need time. And <laughs> to get my, cause I, cause y'all like thinking loopholes and shit, so I got to make sure I get my, get it here. Tight. You know it. Mm. Come on, Ford. What you doing, Ford? You got enough time? You had enough time? You ever come to you last? Yeah. All right, what you got, Joe? Uh, I'm just gonna um, sacrifice marriage, regardless of like whether she got two years to live or whether she got. I'm gonna sacrifice marriage. Okay. For the for the because, and the reason I say that is because people walk through life, and life is nothing but a a jumbled up mess of experiences, like chances that you should have took, chances that you didn't take. That's all it is. Life is nothing but choices. Exactly, but. The hardest part about being an adult is living with your choices. I never would want a choice to. I never yeah. want a, a, a choice to make a choice regarding something that serious. Yeah. Knowing that, not knowing she has two years to live or forty years to live. And the reason I say that is because I already met the love of my life. Like I've already met her. I married her. I got to enjoy her while she was here. Um. So. I was blessed in that sense where most people won't even get that experience at all. Mm -hmm. So I was blessed enough to get the time that I spent with her for what now, but like to have somebody's life hanging over my head, I wouldn't be able to make that choice. Yeah. I can't have death on my conscience. What's on the edge of that chair too long. All right, Ford, what you doing, man? God damn, Tanisha Gray, we low, but like sacrificing your mama. (laughs) Damn, nigga, and she changed her diapers. Can I answer the question? That's what we trying to get you to do. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to ask before you start talking. Oh, no, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't letting Lisa go. I can't, I can't. Y'all always talk shit to me like, "Oh, you gonna punch your mama in the face?" You surprised you me because I thought you were gonna say kill, kill peach. I thought no, that's what I thought I you were gonna say. Because you already, you, you, you done about killed her already. Everything, <laughs> I've, everything I've done is for my mother's sake. <laughs> Knocking her out was gonna get her paid too. So she was gonna probably yeah, and you cut some years off her life by knocking her out. God damn, how hard do y'all think? You can get in the room with brain damage. Oh, you knocked her out, out. nigga. Bro, people get knocked out every day. K.O. No, they fucking don't. <laughs> <laughs> bro, y'all ain't never seen the War of Star compilation, bro. Nah, it wasn't me. You not Shaw bro. Bro, bro, I'm telling you, one clean, <laughs> hit, one clean hit right there in the jaw. That's all you need. That's the sweet spot. I swear. I just gotta hit that mom, and that can kill somebody. No, it can't, dude. Bro, niggas got killed off of one hit before, man. Man, they was soft out here. Niggas soft, see? And <laughs> that niggas soft. <laughs> niggas soft. He <laughs> soft because he died. Niggas <laughs> 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 soft. Out here. That's crazy. They, they won't build like me. Bro. That's crazy. Bro, how did he die? He was soft. <laughs> That's wild to think. Hey, bro, I'm all right. All right, that was a little sensitive. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I ain't no butt, nigga. Bro, she's not gonna die for me, knock out. I'm gonna even, I'm gonna even set up so she got like pillows and shit to catch the fall, bro. Nah, the nah, we ain't doing all that. We ain't so doing all y'all that. Want, so y'all want more to be hurt? That's why. No, you already so knocked that out. Stop her from having a lock malfunction jaw, bro. You already she knocked that out. She is not gonna get all these elements from one knockout. All right. You don't know how. Do you realize how strong you could be? Let let Tyson hit your ass. Okay, I'm not Tyson strong though. Like, no you matter. Might be strong you're, not, you're not gonna get injured off of one hit. 
Nah, then you soft, nigga. <laughs> you soft, nigga. Knock you out and bite your ear. <laughs> if I'm already knocked out, why he bite my ear? <laughs> he's gonna he's yeah. gonna reach over my limp body block. <laughs> that nigga say he gonna eat your kids, nigga. <laughs> That was Tyson. Man? That what he said. <laughs> Tyson said it. Pause. That's his words. Not Put mine. some hot sauce on it. Pause. <laughs> Eat your kids, nigga. That's Fuck them kids. Man. Probably just need some sauce on it. Not probably need any need some. Chick-fil-A sauce. With that being said, <laughs> another episode of Unfiltered Arguments. You can watch us wherever you can watch um, podcasts are available. We have a no, YouTube the channel. fuck you can't watch us <laughs> anywhere. You can watch us. You can only you can watch, watch us on YouTube. Anyway, the podcasts are available. We'll turn channel thirty five trying to watch us. You can watch us anywhere. If you turn channel eight on right now, bro, we right there on it live right now, bro. You can, we can watch. Nah, I'll just say uh, you can watch us on YouTube. This is, um, but check out the podcast or anywhere the podcasts are available. Uh, we have a website coming soon, merch coming soon, um, events coming up. Uh, please give us feedback, um, drop your comments and stuff, like, share, subscribe, um, and thank you for the support that you guys always been giving us. You know that. Anything else, guys? Nope. God, God bless you. <laughs> you. <laughs> Close it out, What's wrong with blessing the people? Man, shut up. And with that being said, <laughs> we out. Just such a hate. Peace. <laughs>